You don't need to hire a developer to have a directory website. All you need is a WordPress plugin called Directories. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. On this video, I'm going to show you how to build a doctor's directory here with this plugin. Now, I would recommend that you check out the link in the description, jump over here and check out all the features that they have available, including the type of listings and directory sites that you can build with them. For example, you got local business directory, restaurants, services, tourism, real estate, classified ads, and you can check out their demos too. So if you are not sure that this is the right fit for you, go ahead and jump into one of these demos and see if it has the features that you are going to need. Now on this video, the cool thing is, is that I'm going to show you how to kickstart your directory website, and I'm going to show you what you're going to expect on the back end, So you know that it's super easy to build your website. Okay. Now this is my WordPress website. And all I did right now was install the directories theme and the plugins that it asked me to install. So nothing complicated at all. All I did was just do what it asked me to do to install the required plugins to kick off this listing site that I want to use. In this case, I'm going to build a doctor's directory. So let's get started with the first launching steps. And it's asking me what type of directories do I need to create? So a business directory? Yes. Do I need a job directory, a place, a hotel directory, restaurant, lawyers, etc.? Select the one that you are going to need depending on your use case. And you can select several of these depending if you want to have several types of listings or directories. Okay. In this case, it's going to be dedicated for doctor's directory. So it's going to know what I need. So let's go into the next step. Let's set our default location. So I'm just going to set it right here just for testing purposes. Let's go ahead and hit next. Now I can set monetization on if I need to. So I'm going to do so. And the feature listing fee, I can set it right here. I'm going to keep it as it is payment gateways. So I'm going to use PayPal for this purpose and I can also enable bank transfer, but PayPal will do just for this. will do great for this purpose. Okay. Then we have demo content and data sharing preferences. Now be aware that I always like to import demo data. The reason for this is because I like to have that data there so I know how to get started. So for example, if there's a listing for a doctor already built, I know that each one of those elements have to go in each one of these places. And once I learned that I clean the site from these listings and then I start from scratch. So it helps me out. Okay. So let's go into our first listing right here. So we're going to get started. Okay, here we go. And this is where we're going to add our new listings. Now, first, let me show you one of the examples that were loaded in from the demo data. So let's check out, for example, Jim Lewis here. Let's go ahead and view him. Let's check out his profile right here. So here we go. Here's the dental and medicine. So that's his category. Here's a quick overview at a glance, the gender, age, some education details, the location, contact listing owner, contact listing owner, the reviews for this specific doctor. And I can leave a review right here, plus related listings. So these are other listings that are available that were also loaded in from the demo data. So it's super easy. Now I can add a doctor from my profile or I can do it from the back end. So depending on the access that I have. So in this case, let's go ahead and edit Jim Lewis in this case, because that's one of the reasons I like to load in data. I, I want to know how it is structured. So I know how to create my listings later on. So we got the name, we got the description right here on the left. We have the listing categories. In this case, it's hepatology of medicine. And I got all the available categories. If there's new categories, just go ahead and add them right here listing locations, listing tags, and the light speed. That's for cash plugin. That's a whole different thing. Okay. Then we got your listing information. So tagline, the gender of this doctor, the age, the consultant fee, the other information, and just all the details that are available for this specific listing. Now creating one of these listings is as easy as one of these demo listings. So all I need to do is add a new listing and add all the details right here. In this case for a doctor. Now this is on the back end. Now on the front end, since I'm logged in, I have the option to add a doctor. So I'll go ahead and add a doctor right here. And that's going to look way nicer than what I'm using on the, the back end. So you don't have to use the back end. You can use the front end to create the doctors. So this is going to look way better. We got general information for the doctor name, tagline categories. And in this case, we are not going to add categories from here. We will have those pre added in the WordPress section. Then we got our details here for the contact information, location chambers, etc. And all the details will be available here to add a doctor listing, which is pretty cool and super easy to do so. And on the left, we have details that I do recommend that you fill out when getting started. Like, for example, taking the time to create the categories needed for your directory. In this case, I've added demo data and I already have this started, but you can add the ones that you're going to need right here in the name, the slug and description for each one of these and just add the category. 
same thing goes for location we want to do the same at the locations same for tags at the tags right here then we got our directory builder this is the one that we just saw when you log in and you create a listing from the logged in panel now in this case for example you got your general you got the at listing form so you can modify what you are going to view over here so in certain cases you don't want to have all these available options well you got the option to customize the listing right here so for example you got your general information we'll go ahead and set it here doctor name tagline category overview maybe you don't need to specify the age well you can go ahead and remove this delete it and that will be reflected on the front end too so that won't be available anymore so same thing goes with all of these you got the form fields that you can add to the listing creator for the doctor in this case okay the single page layout in this case we're viewing the list header and we got the list header options that we can turn on or off in case we don't need them maybe we don't need the bookmark option just go ahead and turn that off and that will be reflected on the front end same thing goes for the listing content for the custom single listing page if you want to enable this just go ahead and tick this on select the listing page that you want to set as the single listing page in case it's going to be different the all listing layout that you can tweak right here to set the layout type in case you want to have for example the set style for that one or change it and depending what you want for your listing layout okay then you got your search forms you got your search bar options there we go search bar you can search by category so those are options that you have available for the search bar search filter so for example if i want to add the location for the filter i can add it right here or maybe i don't want to provide the patient satisfaction review i can go ahead and remove it and once we're good to go just go ahead and update it and that will reflect on the live side okay then we have our order history remember we can sell listings for the doctors so it's going to cost them we'll view the order history right here we're going to be able to view all the reviews here so once people start making reviews about these doctors in this case we'll be able to view them over here too then we have our settings for our directory system now there's a really important feature that i want to show you which is enable multi-directory let me go ahead and enable this right now and this will enable us to have several directories in the single website now once we enable this it's going to refresh and it's going to give us a brand new settings for building a new directory now we have a new button here that says start building a directory same thing goes when you go to directory builder we now have a new setting let me take you there before we continue with these settings now inside of the directory system we have now the option to create a brand new directory and we can have several of these in a website so it enables us to have the multi-directory system now if i don't enable that we don't have these options here now i'm going to show you how to create one in a bit with ai let's continue with these settings and in settings we have the option to enable guest listing submissions just go ahead and tick this on and it'll enable this feature for you you got your registration listing views and more settings like all the listings single listing category and location and several settings that it's important to set up here so you have the directory system that you'll need for your website now let me go ahead and show you the creating a directory with ai let's go into the directory builder and let's go ahead and create a brand new directory and you have three options available you can use a template like i showed you already you can create from scratch so building everything from scratch and you can create with ai now ai is a fantastic feature because it's going to save you a ton of time plus you don't have to rely on a template let me give you a quick example here so university listing let's go ahead and continue and generate and you have directory types you can select here or i can click on other and set my own directory type so let me go ahead and add information here here we go so i just added my short description just to give you an idea how you can get started i would highly recommend that you add more details that way you'll have a better output i'm just going to keep it really simple i will continue to generate this now let's add some keywords so we want university usa campuses colleges american universities and we're good to go let's generate directory and in a couple minutes we should have it ready and here we go it ai generated 20 fields that we need specifically to what we asked for so for university name description campus location so you can see these fields are based on my specific needs for universities in usa so let's go ahead and build a directory and here we go we are now in the customization settings like i showed you previously we can see here it's the university listings and we have the details to customize it right here if i go back we're gonna have a list of all the available directories right here and you can see here here's the brand new one that i've just created then we have our theme and extensions options right here where you can enable these or disable them if you don't need them 
this is a really fantastic extension here which is the directories of booking and this will enable for example in this case in the doctor directory system where they can actually book with the doctors if i have this available so in this case i have it active i can jump into settings and i'll be able to customize the booking part of the directory system right here and this is going to take us back to the settings now you can see here we are now located in the extensions section and i can set up my booking settings right here so yes i can enable guess of booking if you don't want to enable that go ahead and turn it off the commission rate for the bookings the booking types and all the details related to the booking system that you can enable in your directory system now that's pretty cool right now there's several of these extensions that you can enable right here and it's going to take your directory to the next level so go ahead and check them out right here you can view the details for each one of these so you understand what they do and if you want to grab it or not now let me go ahead and show you my finished website so you can see how powerful it's going to be for in this case the doctor's listings so we got a nice looking website where we have a nice header with our listings our blog our pages elements etc we have our doctor search for the conditions process you can add the zip code and go to search now since i've enabled multi-directory you can see here i also have the hospitals and in this case my demo test for the university listings which doesn't go with this but i just wanted to give you the idea of how it worked so i got a nice looking website i got my doctors listed right here here's charles let's go ahead and check him out and we have a nice looking directory for this doctor so people can check him out they can review this doctor they can see where he's located you can uh, favorite this you can share it you can leave feedback you can report it in this case since i logged in i can go ahead and edit i can claim now i can add a brand new listings and a whole lot more so it's really easy to build a directory or listing website with directories plus you can make money with this so if you plan to sell featured listings you can do so with directories if you plan to not charge but maybe add, add ads in the website well you can make money from that too or just rank on search engines so you can have a lot of credibility and have listings website for your own needs so definitely check out directories link provided in the description in case you want to grab it right now